Hey everybody, this is Jay from American Survival. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. And today I'd like to cover the topic of the true costs of going off-grid. I recently run across a comment of somebody saying that, that they were a little confused for the fact that they had always believed that you could go off-grid with very little money but yet when you pop on a lot of off-grid channels you know here on YouTube you know you see everybody's setups and you can tell right away you know that they've invested a lot of money into some of their elaborate setups well here's the true cost of what it takes to go off-grid yes you can go off-grid with very little money but it all boils down to what you're willing to sacrifice in the beginning to get yourself off grid as far as that goes to touch on the very little money aspect of going off grid if, if you're like we were uh, when we moved off grid we had very little money uh, I had we started out the three of us myself my wife and my daughter living in a 20-foot camper and prior to going off grid I had took the time and converted the the camper to where it was solar powered and all the lights were uh, swapped over to LED so it was very little power consumption but in actuality you don't even have to have a camper to be able to go off grid if you've got a piece of property that you can go to you could live in a tent spend 50 60 hundred dollars for a halfway decent tent uh, you can move off grid with just a tent of course you're always going to have to spend the money you know for food water stuff like that but it can be done with very little money contrary to popular belief and contrary to a lot of what you see here on YouTube like I said we started out the three of us living in the 20-foot camper when we first bought the property and got it cleared enough to where we could pull the camper on the property and actually move there to live full-time off-grid. It took us a year and a half before we had our house far enough along where it was dried in for us to be able to move out of the camper into our home. But we didn't have the money up front perfect example for power Har Harbor Freight offers solar panel kits if you don't have much money you could invest in a Harbor Freight solar panel kit to get you started now like I said this this video is about you know true cost so I'll let you know uh, we started out with one Harbor Freight solar panel kit and right now you can get a hundred watt solar panel set comes with a charge controller for around $180 you might as well figure with tax $200 for the solar panels and the charge controller that does not come with batteries you will need batteries I would suggest starting out you can start out with one battery I would suggest starting out with at least two you can charge the two batteries with one solar panel set average cost of batteries for me my area is going to vary depending on where you live uh, we're about hundred and fifty dollars a piece for the batteries so we've got when we started out we had the two batteries and the one Harbor Freight solar panel kit. So about 
an actual cost to start us out having our first solar panel system. I would suggest for people that don't have a whole lot of money that have been contemplating going off a grid, you want to start out small. Of course, if you don't have a lot of money, you really don't have much choice. But you can start out with small systems. You could start out for like water collection system. You could, you could use a 55 gallon drum, plastic 55 gallon drum. You might could pick one up for $25. I mean, that's a start. You're better off to start small in a situation where you don't have much money. Start all your systems small. Over time, those systems will grow. Whenever you get a little extra money here and there, you can invest into upgrading on your system. So you can start with very little money at first. But over the long run, the more you upgrade your systems. I mean, later on you could have a well dug. Uh, later on you can have a huge solar panel array with wind turbines. And there's other various uh, gadgets that you can buy that, you know, to help you along with your power. But you're better off to start off small, if you don't have money, and just grow your systems. The more your systems grow, the easier things become. Now, I've got some videos where we've added some solar panels. That was a huge game changer. Yeah, the more, the bigger the systems you have, like in the power situation, the more you can run off of it and the more convenient things get. I mean you could start out with just a little Coleman lamp in a tent. Move on to a property. You're off grid. Off grid for you might not necessarily be what's off grid for somebody else. There's no wrong way to go off grid. You don't have to have all the fancy gadgets and whatnot to go off grid. Yes, it makes things more convenient when you have the, the big systems, but you don't have to have it to go off grid. Because I've had also had a lot of people ask me, well, you know, I want to go off grid, but how much would it cost me to you know, to be able to power my house or whatnot. But that, you can't really answer that because that all depends on what you plan on powering. I mean, if you, if you want to, if you're planning on going off grid and having microwaves and dishwashers and washer and dryer, uh, it's going to cost a lot of money to build up a system to where you can power all that stuff. So here's a dose of reality. With a Harbor Freight system, one solar panel set up, and two batteries in your battery bank, 500 bucks. Give or take a little bit, but an estimate. With that, $500. This will give you a reference as far as to what you can expect to be able to power a true a true estimate on what you can expect to be able to power from that small system. For one, when we started out with the one solar panel set, two batteries, we were able to power a little small uh, power inverter where we could run the laptop. Uh, you can charge your phones or battery boxes. Uh, if you've got the LED lighting and stuff, you can power all your lights. And maybe a couple other small extras. But you can't you can't spend, you know, a little bit of money and expect to be able to power the world. I mean if if like I said, if if you want 
to eventually be able to power, you know, all the regular necessities of a regular household. Then it's going to take some time to build those systems up to where you create enough power to be able to power those systems. You can't jump in and, it, and with a, a little small solar panel set and, you know, just expect it to run everything because that's just not going to happen. And another instance, like water collection system. You know, I told you about the, uh, you could start out with a rain barrel. Well, you can get the, uh, the square, uh, water tanks. I think, uh, ours is 275 gallon. Uh, it pushes 300 gallons by the time it overflows. So basically 300 gallons. With that one 300 gallon tank, there's three of us. And we've never run out of water. Even during the summertime. When you hit dry season and it's a month or two with very little rain, uh, we've come close. We've, I've seen it down to 75, 80 gallons, but, uh, but for us, it works fine. And like I said, it, it holds about 300 gallons. And you can start out with a, a rain barrel. Then if you get a little extra money, invest in a square tank. Well, if you've got a little extra money a little later on down the road, add another tank. You can always upgrade your systems, but don't never let anybody tell you that, that you can't start out with very little money, because we did. It can be done. It's all in what you're willing to do without in the beginning. And as you constantly work to build your systems, the easier life will get. Like I said, the very first day you go off grid, that you got it in your mind, you find a piece of property, you, and, you, and you make the move. That very first day is going to be as hard as it will ever be. From there on out, the more you do, the more you invest, the more you work towards building your systems, the easier it will be. So I just I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, because yes, I, I sit and watch uh, other YouTubers off grid and yeah I would I would love to have, you know, some of the systems that you know these people have. And I'm not knocking it, you know, if, if you got the money and you can you can afford to start out that way then by all means I mean go for it but you don't have to have all that stuff to go off grid that's to me is a preconceived notion so hopefully I, I clarified a little bit on the true cost of what it takes to actually move off grid and if there's anything else that that you would like to know that you haven't seen in any of my videos or would like me to make a video on, you know, pertaining to, you know, how you can start out on the cheap, I mean, as, as cheap as possible. Because money is always a consideration and the cost of everything is always going up every day. Yes, it's going to cost money. I'm not going to lie to you and say that you can just move off grid and have absolutely no money whatsoever. Because you're going to have to make a land payment. You're going to have to have something for heat when it gets cold. I mean, you're going to have to have a way to cook. You're going to have to eat. You're going to have to have water. But there are simple systems in, that you can install that costs very little money to get you going and that would be my recommendation to everybody you know if, if you're in a situation like me and don't really have a whole lot of money don't don't start out thinking long term start out thinking what it takes right now for your necessities for you to get by 
it start as small as possible. And then over time, eventually, you'll make it to the long-term goal of being more self-sufficient as your systems grow. And it makes it easier to get by. And makes the daily chores easier. So, like I said, any questions, comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'll, I usually try to always read all the comments. Uh, so, I guess till next time, y'all take care, be safe, and God bless. Thanks for watching.